Awesome. So uh, we have a great lineup of speakers today. I'm really excited about them. Um, so some of the feedback we've gotten in most of the previous years is that people really love technical deep dives. Um, so this is not a technical deep dive, uh, but I will try to get through as quickly as possible. Um, and uh, we have a bunch of speakers that will be doing that. With great lineup of uh, mostly really deep technical talks about features that people have implemented, um, as well as some other stuff. So. Uh, I'll keep it short. If you want to hear from me on technical subjects, uh, you're going to have to come back tomorrow um, where we'll, be, we'll have some short talks before the hackathon. Okay, so first order of business is thank yous. So uh, I don't know if any of you know Aaron Holding. Um, I, I haven't met him, but he has designed uh, the graphics for the OpenZFS Developer Summit for the past four years. Um, and we have some pretty amazing logos. I don't know if you guys saw the shirt today. Does anybody, did anybody fly here? Okay, did anybody see uh, this when they were at the airport? One, one person, wow. Yeah, look, when you fly in or out, um, look, at, look around, you'll see this control tower. It's a, it was brand new. I think it opened uh, earlier this year. Um, I think it's pretty iconic and cool landmark. Um, I guess it's our third tower, uh, if you count the tower of the Golden Gate Bridge there. Um, but anyways. Thank you very much, Aaron Holding. Um, he's been designing these graphics for us for four years, uh, and uh, you know we love it. Personally, I feel like it really makes me feel um, like we're gr all growing up. You know, like we have real logo, things look good, everything's really slick. Our presentations start on time. All of our AV stuff works, um, at least mostly. So, uh, great. So next, Ooh. hello. Okay, next. Thank you to some outstanding folks who have helped to make this possible. So first off, thanks to Karen Ritter from Delphix Project Management. Karen, are you here? She's probably outside making sure that everything goes smoothly. Um, you probably saw her when you got your badge. Thank you so much, Karen, for um, all the logistics, talking with all the sponsors, uh, getting all the money, making sure that everybody showed up and all the vendors. Uh, thank you so much. Also, thank you, Victoria. Um, she also helped with the event management. She's here today passing out stuff, and she also uh, was uh, assisting Karen in all that. Um, thanks to Pavel, who you heard, he's uh, the MC today, and he's gonna be hurting the speakers and hopefully keeping us all on time. Um, and lastly, thank you, uh, Michael, the treasurer of SPI. Um, SPI helps us manage our finances, and uh, he made sure that all the vendors got paid, including this venue, so that we could actually be here and they didn't kick us out. Okay, now. On to thanking our platinum sponsors. So um, these are the sponsors that have, they have booths up here. Uh, come talk to them uh, if you're interested in their products. Uh, first off, these are in alphabetical order. Um, Dado, anybody here from Dado? Awesome, thank you, Dado. Um, thank you to Delphix, my employer, um, and also helping us out with uh, money and also the project management from, uh, from Karen, thank you. Uh, anybody from Delphix here? I know there are. All right, um, next, uh, we want to thank GitHub. Uh, they donated the hackathon venue, so tomorrow we won't be in this location. We'll be at GitHub's headquarters, um, which they made available to us for the talks tomorrow and the hackathon. And the internet there, uh, we've been there before. We were there two years ago. The internet uh, is blindingly fast, uh, as you might expect. Uh, so if you're really missing that internet today, just wait till tomorrow. Thank you, GitHub. Uh, and thank you, MP Store. Anyone from MP Store here? Hold up your hands. Thank you. And thank you to Nixenta. I know there's a few folks from Nixenta here. Hold up your hands. Thank you. And Open Drives. Thank you, Open Drives. I know there's quite a few folks here from Open Drives. Good to see you guys. And OS Nexus. I know there's a one or two people here. Thank you very much. And OVH, all the way from France. All right, next I want to thank our gold sponsors, uh, Intel, IX Systems, and Sineto. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, and our silver sponsors, FreeBSD Foundation and rsync.net. And our bronze sponsor, Revert, and our chemical sponsors who are sponsoring the coffee this afternoon, Minaz. Awesome. So I wanted to give a, a, 
a little quick update on what we've been up to in, in the OpenZFS organization. So, you know, if you remember back to like four or five years ago when I was talking about like, what's the point of OpenZFS? Like we have ZFS on all these different platforms. You know, why do we need some overall organization? One of the goals was to make it easier to contribute to ZFS. Um, so has anyone seen this on GitHub? A few hands, all right. And how many of you have clicked through the details and seen something that looks like this? All right, so for those of you who, uh, whose hands were not raised, what we're talking about here is automated testing for OpenZF pull, OpenZFS pull requests on Illumos. So uh, as you, most of you probably know, Illumos is kind of the uh, repository of record for ZFS. Um, a lot of changes go into uh, OpenZFS first, and then they're, they're pulled down into other repos like um, FreeBSD and, uh, and um, Linux and OSX. So um, we wanted to make it easier for folks to contribute those changes um, into ZFS, into OpenZFS Illumos. So we created this automated system. Uh, so whenever you open a pull request, we're creating a VM, uh, compiling your changes, installing those changes onto the VM, and then running uh, the entire ZFS test suite and uh, ZTest. And uh, this is all running on AWS. The, uh, year, uh, maybe a year ago, this was this kind of worked, but it was running on like Delphix's internal infrastructure. And I don't know if any of you remember like uh, at Zetabot Go or that we had to do for every uh, pull request. So uh, this is now running all on AWS uh, in the open. Thanks to uh, thanks a lot to Prakash Surya. You'll be hearing from later today, not about this, but about some other work he's done. But thanks so much, Prakash, for doing that. Um, so uh, unfortunately, um, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but it turns out that AWS costs money. <laughs> and um, it's really easy for it to cost a different amount of money than you expected. Um, and it's usually not less than you expected. <laughs> so uh, this is how much we've spent um, on AWS hosting for these, uh, for these tests. As you can see, it looked like we were like on a runaway uh, track to spending infinite dollars back in July. But um, we realized that there were a few things we could do to improve that. Uh, that Prakash put in place. So there was like uh, one VM that wasn't getting killed off. So we put in some automated checks to make sure that like when nothing was going on, we weren't uh, paying for any VMs. And then uh, we also switched to using uh, spot instances, which are uh, typically much cheaper. So um, we think that we can do this all with a budget of $100 a month, um, and, but we need your help. So uh, we've, uh, thank you to our sponsors because we've used the leftover money from the sponsorship to pay for this uh, for the past seven months. Uh, but we would, we'd really like to see this become a, a more smooth, self-supporting uh, thing financially. So we're asking folks to donate. Um, we need $100 a month to cover this. Um, you can donate. There's a button on our website. And also, there should be a button on the live stream to donate. Uh, you can do it. It goes through PayPal. Uh, and um, ZFS, uh, OpenZFS is an associated project of SPI, Software in the Public Interest, so they manage all of our finances. Um, and they're a 501c3 nonprofit, so uh, if you're making a donation, it's a tax-deductible donation. So think about it. Um, you know, if your company is contributing stuff upstream, that's great, we love you. Uh, if you are uh, maybe downstream, you're consuming that, um, we want to keep those contributions coming. So, you know, think about donate $100. That covers our expenses for a whole month. We would really love it. Thank you so much. OK, uh, one more last announcement. Um, the OpenZFS user conference. So we had the first OpenZFS user conference uh, last year uh, in the spring. Um, this is a conference uh, hosted by Datto at their headquarters uh, in, Nor in Norwalk, Connecticut. Um, the focus of, this, of the user conference is uh, we want to design this conference to be more for end users of ZFS, system administrators, folks like that. So um, I think the great speakers at this conference would be everyone in this room who is uh, using, ZFS, using ZFS at scale and can share their experiences with other folks. We also want technical talks about what's new and upcoming in ZFS, uh, but we'd really love to get some talks about uh, folks' experience deploying ZFS uh, maybe sharing like I'm using it in this situation, and I had to do I had to tune it in this way. Or you really want to make sure that you're using you know RAID Z works great when you're on this workload, um, et cetera, et cetera. 
So we're, uh, registration is open, but uh, we also still need a lot of uh, talks for this. So um, think about how you might give a talk. Also, uh, for folks who couldn't make it here, it is on the other coast of the United States. So hopefully the travel is easier for some folks.